All right. So where you're standing right now, wait a little bit. Uh, back up just one second. That's a good idea. Right there is perfect. Well, are we ready? Oh, we're ready. But tell us what you think. Well, listen. First of all, I'd like to say to everybody that might have watched this, I'm a lot older than I look, and it's a miracle. But that's just what I want to throw out there. So what tonight I made? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go make sure it every day. Keep, you just keep doing it. What I made tonight? Okay was fried chicken salad. The recipe I got from one of my ex-roommates who wound up being married to the guy who went on to create SpongeBob SquarePants. And there's still two of my best friends. They live down in LA. First time I had this, I'd already have a lunch. I came home to the house. She had a bunch of friends over. She made it. I thought it's the best thing I ever tasted in my whole life. I went nuts. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you fry chicken. This is a little overdone. The breasts were huge. But just get some boneless, skinless chicken breast, soak them in buttermilk. Okay, soak them in buttermilk for like half an hour. Well, let's get off the Christmas song. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Hold on. What was playing right there? Children's Christmas song. I'm, I'm with, I just bought a CD of A and B sides of all the Supremes 45s, of which that was one. All right. So you fry the chicken. It's important to... Uh, Use like peanut oil is the best because you have to fry it hot. You can use canola oil. It's called double dip fried chicken. So you take the chicken, soak in buttermilk for about half an hour, and then you drip the buttermilk off and coat it in flour, just regular flour, a lot of salt, and a lot of ground pepper. Then you do that, stick it in the hot skillet. Let it, now this, again, the breasts are so big that it's kind of ridiculous, but it still tastes great. So you take that and let the chicken get to room temperature. You don't want to let it cold it. These are one of these hot cold salads. So chicken's at room temperature. Only other ingredients are, this is ranch dressing. It's very important to get the buttermilk recipe ranch dressing. So that's a little packet that you get at the store. I couldn't find one in San Francisco to save my life. <laughs> and it's a cup of buttermilk, a cup of mayonnaise, and the ranch dressing. You just let it sit around, put it in the refrigerator. Then the only other ingredients which I've already put in here are red onion, nice sweet red onion, and toasted pecan pieces within an inch of their life. They have to be like almost burnt. Toss all that together with romaine and the salad dressing and a little ground pepper, and I guarantee you, it's the best thing you'll ever taste in your whole life. I'm looking forward to it. What's Who the are you? <laughs> I'm the voice behind the camera. Mm. Most chefs leave out a secret. What's your secret? Well, the, the, it's not a secret, it's a tragedy. I am the messiest cook, and if I... You just, if you look around, well, it's not that bad tonight because I have guests coming, but there's no other secret, but just get your chicken done correctly. Sama, do you want to take a bite of the chicken to show them what you really think, or just the chicken before we do the rest of it? Just get on it. Plus, we haven't put all the other ingredients together. Go ahead.